In this video, we're going to look at how to use peer reviews with an assignment. A peer review assignment enables students to provide feedback on another student's assignment submission. Peer reviews are a tool that allows communication between students and can help students master the concepts of a course and learn from each other. Peer reviews can be assigned to show student names or display anonymously. I'm going to use an assignment that's already been created for this demonstration. So I'll need to go back into the assignment and edit it. I can do that by finding the assignment in the Assignments tab or in the module that I put it in. Click on the name of the assignment and then click the Edit button. When assigning peer reviews, you'll want to clarify your expectations for what type of feedback you want your students to provide in their reviews in the assignment description. Providing a due date for the peer review here is also a good idea. If you assign a rubric to the assignment, reviewers will be required to fill in the rubric in order to complete the review. Creating rubrics is covered in the assessment section of this module. Now you'll need to scroll down and check the box next to Require Peer Reviews. And you'll need to decide whether you want to assign the peer reviews manually or have Canvas do it for you automatically. One thing to think about is that if you manually assign the peer reviews, the students can review each other's assignments before they've completed the assignment themselves. So if you don't want the students to have that capability, make sure you choose to have the reviews assigned automatically. Another consideration is that if you're assigning a paper or no submission type assignment, you must assign the reviews manually. If you choose to do it manually, all you need to do for now is select that option. If you want to use the automatic option, you'll also need to fill in how many reviews you want to have each student complete and choose the date when you want the system to assign the reviews. If you leave it blank, the peer reviews will be assigned on the due date of the assignment. You may want to consider making the peer review date a day or so after the assignment due date. This way, anyone who submits their assignment a little late but before the peer review date will still be automatically assigned a peer reviewer, which will hopefully limit the number of reviews you have to assign manually. Under Anonymity, choose whether you want the reviewer's names to be visible or if you want to make the reviews anonymous. Make sure you click Save when you're done with the settings for the assignment. If you have chosen to manually assign peer reviews, you will need to click on the assignment name to come back to this screen and then under Related Items, click on Peer Reviews. You'll see a list of your students. Click on the plus sign Next to Give Another Submission to Assess, select a student's name from the drop-down menu and click Add. When a peer review is assigned either automatically or by you, the students will see a notification in their dashboard and in their course to-do lists and will also receive an email. This is an example of what that would look like within a student's account. To see which students have completed their assigned reviews, you would come back to this assignment screen and click back on the Peer Reviews link. From here, you can easily see who was assigned to whom, and you can see a check mark next to the name of each person who has completed their review and an exclamation point next to anyone who has not. We can see here that Bill Blend has completed a peer review for James Casey, but Annie Byrne has not completed her review for Guy Burnett. By clicking on the alarm bell icon, you can send a notification with a reminder to a student to let them know that they need to complete their review. To see a student's assignment submission and their reviewer's comments on their work, click on the student's name from the peer review menu or go to SpeedGrader. In this case, going to SpeedGrader would be easier because from the submission details screen here, I would have to download James Casey's assignment submission in order to view it. But from SpeedGrader, I can see a preview of James' work and see Bill Blend's peer review in the same screen. 
There isn't a built-in place to put points for a peer review, so if you want to grade the peer reviews or assign points for them, I would suggest creating a separate no submission assignment and putting the points in the gradebook manually.